Thoughts of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother Part 2 Letters on the Mother by Our Lord Chapter 4 The Mother's Presence Page 109 Topic The Mother's Emanations Question what is the exact significance of your statement, always behave as if the mother was looking at you because she is indeed always present? For the Sri Aurobindo says, it is the emanation of the mother that is with each sadhak at all the times. In former days when she was spending the night in a trance and not working in the ashram, she brought back with her the knowledge of all that was happening to everybody. Nowadays, she has no time for that. 16, 7, 19, 35. Question. All this is very interesting, and I suppose you have an equal number of emanations yourself. The object must be to give us protection. For this, Shirobindo says, I am not aware of any emanations of mine. As for the mothers, they are not there for protection, but to support the personal relation or the contact with the sadhak and to act so far as he will allow them to act. Date 16-7-19-35 The next question. Kindly enlighten us a little more regarding the emanations. How do they support the personal relation? I thought all personal relations were with the mother directly and not through a deputy. When X says that he feels the mother's physical touch, with whom does he have the contact, the mother or the emanations? Then again, the different forms of the mother that one sees in dreams, are they also emanations of the mother? For the Sri says, it is terribly difficult to write these things for you are all as ignorant as blazes about these things and misunderstand at every step. The emanation is not a deputy but the mother herself. She is not bound to her body but can put herself out, emanate in any way she likes. What emanates suits itself to the nature of the personal relation she has with the sadhak, which is different with each but that does not prevent it from being herself. Its presence with the sadhak is not dependent on his consciousness of it. If everything were dependent on the surface consciousness of the sadhak, there would be no possibility of the divine action anywhere. The human worm would remain the human worm and the human ass as the human ass forever and ever. For if the divine could not be there behind the veil, how could either ever become conscious of anything but the wormhood and asshood even throughout the ages? By the side of the question, Sri Aurobindo writes, When X says that he feels the mother's physical touch, with whom does he have the contact for this question? Sri Aurobindo is writing with the mother, the emanation helping, which is its business. Date 1935 Sri Aurobindo says, the mother, when she works in the supra-physical levels, goes out in a different emanation to each sadhak. Date 11 12 1933 Question. In an experience in the dream state, we see the mother sometimes. Is it that form or, or an emanation of her or is it her body itself? For that Sri Aurobindo says her emanation, it's an emanation. How can her physical body be seen in a dream experience? Date 7-7-19-33 Question. During the afternoon sleep, I seem to come often in contact with the mother. Is it the mother who sends her emanation? Sri Aurobindo says, yes, or rather something of her is always with you. Date 14-12-19-33 The next topic, the mother's presence and the divine consciousness. 
Question. Is there any difference between the mother's presence and the divine consciousness? For the Sri Aurobindo says, one can feel the divine consciousness impersonally as a new consciousness only. The mother's presence is something more. One feels herself there, present within or above or enveloping one or all these together. Date 8 7 35 Next topic, the mother's presence within. Sri Aurobindo says, he must go into himself and find the presence of the Divine Mother within and the psychic behind the heart and from there the knowledge will come and all the power to dissolve the inner obstacles. The constant presence of the Mother comes by practice. The Divine Grace is essential for success in the sadhana but it is the practice that prepares the descent of the grace. You have to learn to go inward, ceasing to live in external things only. Quiet the mind and aspire to become aware of the mother's workings in you. Next question. We believe that the mother is doing the sadhana in all of us, particularly through the heart. But how is it we scarcely feel this? There must be some wheel in this. For the Sri Aurobindo says, it is a wheel which disappears when the mother's working as well as her presence is consciously felt at all times. Date 7 one Question. How and when can one feel the mother's concrete presence at all the time? Sri Aurobindo says, it is a matter first of the constant activity of the psychic and secondly of the conversion of the physical and its openness to inner supraphysical experience. Apart from the vital and its disturbances, the physical is the chief difficulty in establishing a continuity of yogic consciousness and experience. If the physical is thoroughly transformed and opened and conscious, then stability and continuity becomes easy. 1610-1933 Sri Aurobindo again says, It is quite right and part of the right consciousness in sadhana that you should feel drawn in your heart towards the mother and aspire for the vision and realization of her presence. But there should not be any kind of restlessness joined to this feeling. The feeling should be quietly intense. It will then be easier for the sense of the presence to come and grow anew.